what does the next two years look like? Keep developing, keep performing and developing my Taekwondo IQ and just to keep enjoying it. Because as long as I keep enjoying and keep learning and keep being competitive, uh, results will come. And like I said to you, I chase performances. I don't chase medals because the medals take care of itself and the medals will come. I have dreams to, to be on the top. You're anticipating that there's going to be some hard journeys 100%. ahead. 100%. But without a doubt, your determination is going to pull you through. Yeah, 100%. Um, I like the challenge. I'm not going to lie to you. I like, I, I like <laughs> it. I put myself in some uncomfortable situations where I don't want to be. Um, and sometimes I think, Jordan, what are you doing? What's going on? How did you even get here? Um, but I just laugh to myself because I enjoy it. I like fighting you know, in a controlled environment. Of course, yeah. But you've had your first, you've had your first... I've had my first, First yeah. taste of competition. And went really well, went really well. I lost 16-14. If I went, if I came back and I lost 20-0, I would say, yeah, okay, this ain't for me. If I came back and I didn't even try, or if I froze, I'd be like, okay, Jordan, like, you're 30 years old. You're obviously not hungry enough. So, but I came back, I, I lost 16-14. And in Taekwondo terms, that's a high scoring. Mm fight mm. i'm scoring points i must be doing something right i've been doing taekwondo f five weeks six weeks and i've come out here and i'll pull it on a, to a swiss international so for me it's like a win-win competing getting a, getting fight experience is about three months worth of training mm. if i didn't go to that even though there was potential that i couldn't have went there because i did have an injury mm. if i didn't go to it i would have lost that that kind of vital learning aspect. the experience the experience yeah. um so made a decision we're going to go out there uh with the injury once you step into the, the ring it's war is that is that feeling a very special feeling for you is it if, does it almost separate itself from everyday life and every every yeah. factor yeah 100 percent, 100 percent. you almost go into a different person well i do anyways because you're this cool calm yeah. Considered guy, great sense of humour. But as you soon as you hit the mat, yeah. that's it. Doesn't like doesn't matter what injury you have. It doesn't matter uh, if you feel sick. You just got to make sure you go out and you do a job. Um, do, focus on the things that you can control and try and control the outcome. You know, get that outcome any way possible. At this moment in time, my Taekwondo IQ is not the highest. But what have I got? I've been fighting since the age of four years old. I have won world titles, European titles, so I've got an elite mindset. And if I can apply pressure in that way and find a way to press their buttons and upset their, their fight, that's something that's gonna work in my favor. And just finally, you've had so many moments in your career. We've spoken about the world championship win in 2016. Is there another moment in your career somewhere that you turn around and say, I'll always remember that? The Olympic qualification tournament, even though I didn't win, I performed. I was just on fire. I was still competing for Great Britain at the highest level. It's my last, that was my last karate event and I enjoyed every second of it, even though that last two seconds hit me. But when I reflect on that event, I just enjoyed competing. I enjoyed being the best. I enjoyed fighting the best. So, yeah, the Olympic qualification event, fighting for GBR, Jordan Thomas. And that's, and that's it, actually. I like carrying my name. <laughs>